Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new video. Today, just one day before the official release of Hell is US, announced on September the 4th, 2025, I wanted to try out the deluxe edition available with pre-purchase access. I had previously tested the public beta, which had highlighted some issues with CPU management that ended up causing stuttering and general instability. Well, I have to say that this issue has been completely resolved and the game is enjoyable and smooth. In my specific case, I am using high-end hardware, primarily the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D and the PNY GeForce or TX 5080 Gaming Overclocked DDR5 8000 Mega Transfer Per Second. The game developed by Rogue Factor is a third-person action-adventure game that offers a radically different approach compared to other similar titles. There are no maps, no mission indicators, or objective logs, but rather an experience supported solely by environmental clues, dialogues with NPCs, and visual and audio sensations. From the early stages, you can see a semi-open world rich in content that is enhanced, when played with the settings maxed out. I didn't compromise on this aspect and, while using Nvidia's DLSS for quality, I didn't resort to frame generation. Instead, I used the new smooth motion technology, with the new implementation of driver version 581.15 on the RTX 50 series, frame interpolation at the driver level is improved along with artificial intelligence. As a result, all gaming sessions are stable at 114-140 FPS with a frame time of around 1.2 milliseconds and maximum peaks close to 7.8 milliseconds. Before moving on, if you liked the video, consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, and clicking the bell icon to stay tuned for new content in the future. Hell Is Us is another title based on Unreal Engine 5 that has been frequently mentioned, and harshly criticized in recent days, as it has been blamed for optimization issues and numerous technical problems in various games. This has pissed off gamers to the point that they have identified this game engine as the source of all evil. Well, in these early stages, it didn't seem bad to me at all, and as was also the case with Claire Obscure, in some scenes, there is a certain amount of image noise, such as in the reproduction of waterfalls, but believe me, overall the graphics are powerful and capture the eye of the player. Who feels immersed in a world rich in detail, intriguing and mysterious? So you are Remy, a soldier who was taken away from Haiti as a boy, but who now returns to track down his father and mother. It is in the midst of this search that these strange and disturbing creatures suddenly emerge from catacombs, caves, and underground temples beneath the earth in mysterious ways, complicating Remy's search, and this is how Hell Is Us propels you forward. Haiti consists of various areas, where Remy moves around, helping or not helping the lost souls that roam there, fighting terrible creatures that help you upgrade your weapons, and exploring the various areas of the game. Therefore, the game falls into the Souls-like genre, where exploration is combined with numerous methodical and somewhat difficult hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences. The combat system is solid, even if it can be monotonous at times, but the graphics enliven the player's experience, drawing them into exploration and combat in order to uncover the mystery behind the mission. That said, in an era in which the gaming landscape is constantly evolving, and the search for new narrative expressions too often intersects with the reinterpretation of established archetypes, Hell Is Us emerges with a distinctive character, offering the public a deep and multifaceted gaming experience that breaks the mold. One of the most valuable and equally intriguing aspects of Hell Is Us lies in its unique treatment of the theme of war. Whereas numerous titles dealing with this subject have traditionally focused on the perspective of soldiers or victims, this work takes a different approach, almost that of a detached observer. In this context of exploration and combat, Unreal Engine 5 performs excellently with its advanced tools. With my RTX 5080, I never exceed 11,000 megabytes of RAM and 15,000 megabytes of system memory, which translates into a smooth and powerful gaming experience. There have never been any freezes, stuttering, or FPS drops. From the enemy's point of view, many have different mechanics. There are simpler ones, which can be dealt with directly, and others that have a globe inside them that protects them. This second category is much more difficult, because the protection itself attacks and manages to steal a large amount of energy. To increase our defense, we can use equipment and, from the same menu, also manage our choice of weapons. Weapons have a level, which will increase as we defeat enemies. There are no bonfires like in Souls-like games, but we will find polygraphs on the game map where we can save. If we die, we will be taken to the last polygraph. The enemies we killed will remain dead, but we will lose the progress we made with the weapon. Accompanying us in battles is our drone, 
which proves useful for distracting enemies, as well as being a valuable ally during exploration and item collection. In conclusion, after this first experience with the non-beta version of the game, I can say that the gameplay is fun and rich in content. Although at times the plot is too cryptic and mysterious, overall the work is of good quality. That said, let's enjoy a few short combat sessions together. Thank you. 